what would happen if we tried to shoot a traditional fireworks show on the moon? By the end of the video, you'll see that it's not just the low gravity and lack of oxygen that makes shooting fireworks on the moon dramatically different. To shoot fireworks on the moon, we first have to get there. On average, the moon is over 384,000 kilometers from Earth. During the Apollo missions, it took Earthly astronauts just over three days to reach lunar orbit, burning fuel at a rate of almost 12,700 kilograms per second during launch. Which is a fireworks show in and of itself. <laughs> If we were going to take a typically sized American 4th of July fireworks show with us to the moon, it would cost roughly 5,000 times more than the cost of the fireworks show itself just to launch all of the fireworks and equipment on a rocket to the moon. Who would really want a fireworks show that bad? For starters, would a firework even work since the moon has no atmosphere and therefore no oxygen? Fireworks utilize pyrotechnic compositions which by definition have fuel and oxidizer contained within the mixture allowing them to burn independent of any atmospheric oxygen. Now assume we are hand lighting each firework mortar. Can we use just any old torch or lighter for ignition? Standard gas torches like these work by combusting their fuel with the oxygen in the atmosphere. So contrary to the fireworks themselves, they will not work on the moon. You would have to use something like a road flare which has a self-contained pyrotechnic mixture. Since there is no atmosphere on the moon, trying to set up a fireworks display in a spacesuit would be a big pain. Especially if something went wrong and we had to get away. Our celestial neighbor is only a quarter of the Earth's diameter and has a mass only about 1.2% of Earth. And because of this, everything would weigh much less on the moon than it would on Earth due to the lower gravity. Here is a comparison of how much a traditional wooden mortar rack would weigh on the moon compared to Earth. This would certainly make carrying the mortar racks used in fireworks displays much easier. I'm definitely okay with that. Acceleration due to gravity is only 1.6 meters per second squared on the moon compared to 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. Using basic kinematics and published muzzle velocity numbers, we calculate that if a three inch shell is traveling 99 meters per second when it leaves the mortar, the max height reachable on the moon is 3,062 meters versus only 110 meters on Earth. You can also see that the time it takes the firework to to reach maximum height is much more significant on the moon than on Earth, which means the time fuse used in the shell will cause the shell to explode long before it reaches that max height since it was designed based on the time it takes a firework to reach maximum height on Earth. We wouldn't want the firework to reach max height on the moon anyway because at over 3,000 meters or 10,000 feet, it would barely be visible. The moon has no atmosphere and even at the surface is about the same as being in the vacuum of space. This is a big contributing factor to a firework on the moon having a significantly higher max height since it would not take a hit from air resistance. If we rerun the calculations and assumed the moon had an atmosphere of the same air density as Earth, the numbers come down dramatically. Now when the firework reaches apogee and explodes, the effect will be much larger due to the stars not being slowed down by air resistance when you have no atmosphere. This effect will be most dramatic with fireworks like the willow shell or waterfall shell since they are designed to have longer burning stars to take advantage of Earth's gravity causing the stars to appear to droop as they race out from the shell giving a look similar to that of a willow tree or a waterfall. How loud would it be? What do you think you would hear when a firework explodes just above the moon? Absolutely nothing. Unlike light, which does not require a medium to propagate in, sound is a phenomenon that does. In our case with fireworks, that medium is air. Now you will likely feel the mortar fire since the mortar is directly impacting the moon's surface and those vibrations or sound will travel through the moon's surface to your feet. Is it just me or is it getting hot in here? Temperatures on the moon are extreme compared to those on Earth and can approach 250 degrees Fahrenheit in the sun and dip below minus 208 degrees Fahrenheit in shadow. 
Is the daytime temperature on the moon hot enough to cause fireworks to ignite unintentionally? This question is very similar to whether or not fireworks could unintentionally ignite in a hot car on a sunny summer day. So check out our video on that, link in the description. And let us know in the comments if you think this could actually happen on the moon. Would the lack of atmosphere on the moon, i.e. being in a vacuum, cause the shell to just pop open without ever even being ignited? Compare it to driving up a mountain and seeing your sealed bag of potato chips expand and get really puffy since the pressure is lower the higher in elevation you go. Now the bag of potato chips is only experiencing a very small pressure differential compared to putting that same bag in a vacuum like the surface of the moon, the bag would almost certainly pop. So what about a firework shell? A shell is constructed out of a cardboard sphere and pasted with many layers of craft paper and glue, effectively creating a sealed container like the bag of potato chips. The shell casing is thick and sealed to withstand the extreme conditions of being fired out of a mortar. Consider the shell being manufactured on Earth. At the planet's surface, the weight of our atmosphere exerts a pressure of around 15 pounds per square inch absolute. So you build the shell on Earth at a pressure of 15 psi, the shell will be sealed and contain 15 psi of internal pressure. Now on Earth, that isn't a problem because the pressure outside of the shell is also 15 psi, so the total pressure differential between the outside and the inside of the shell is zero. But now taking this firework shell to the moon, which has no atmosphere and can be considered very similar to the vacuum of space, doing the same math, we can see that there is a net pressure differential of 15 psi pushing from the inside of the shell casing. The question is, is this pressure enough to cause the shell to pop open without even being ignited? The burst charge of a typical firework shell causes the casing to fail at pressures over 284 psi and can even exceed 700 psi. So the firework shell casing shouldn't just pop open from the 15 psi trapped inside due to it being manufactured on Earth. If you want to learn how fireworks work, check out our fascinating video on the subject, link in the description. During a fireworks display, debris from the cardboard firework shell just falls back down to the ground. But if we were on the moon, would that debris fall back to the moon's surface or just continue to float off into space? Well, considering the moon's escape velocity is around 2.4 kilometers per second, and the velocity of the shell fragments upon explosion is likely between 0.1 and 0.2 kilometers per second, we are far under the velocity required to jet off into space. On Earth, it is very difficult to see fireworks during the day because of the bright blue sky. Would it also have to be night on the moon to see the fireworks easily? Well, the sky is bright blue on Earth due to light scattering off of particles in the Earth's atmosphere. The amount of scattering is dependent on wavelength. The shorter the wavelength, the more light gets scattered. The sun's spectrum puts out a lot of blue light, which has a shorter wavelength than most of those emitted by the sun, and is why the sky is blue. Now on the moon, there is no atmosphere, and therefore no scattering of any wavelength of light. So all of the light reaches the surface, leaving the sky to be dark even during the day. This is good news, since a day on the moon is roughly 30 Earth days long. Who would want to wait 30 days to watch a fireworks display? I want to see it right now. Actually, I will go see it right now. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos. Like, subscribe. This is Mike from Pyro Innovations, and I'll see you on the next one.